Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event of the evening. Tonight is a slugfest of heavyweight proportions. In this corner, you've got cancel culture that's been trying to get rid of everything good in the world of entertainment since 2020. And in this corner, we've got the mega champion of wrestling entertainment, the WWE slash WWF pay-per-view events from circa 1980 all the way through the 2000s. Who's gonna win this epic battle? Only you will find out when we talk cancel culture on the Jeffman 316 Custom YouTube channel. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeff Ben 316 Customs YouTube channel. Um, I was just being a little silly in that opening video, but hey, I don't want to get pissed off again like I did in my last rant. I just wanted to provide an update on something that we've been talking about a couple times on this channel. Censorship slash cancel culture. And now it's affecting something that is near and dear in my heart, the wrestling community. Um, specifically, the old vintage WWE slash WWF events um if you didn't know vince mcmahon um, the chairman of the wwe um, recently sold the digital exclusive digital i guess rights to broadcast all of their old content to peacock which is owned by what is it nbc universal um, so one of the things we've been saying is on this channel is uh, you know i'm an advocate of not censoring anything uh, more of educating people keeping uh, things out there in front of everybody so we can learn to be better um, once again, there's two events that are already edited on the on the that we know going into the WWE content that's going to air on Peacock, and um, it's before the official transition even took place. So the first one is WrestleMania Six. Roddy Piper was taking on Bad News Brown in the match there. From what I've been told and read, um, Piper was a white wrestler and he painted half his body black uh, for his match against Brown. It was kind of like you know how. Uh, um, Scottish warrior paints part of his face but with him being a black wrestler I guess that's considered that he was doing blackface so they said that the match interview that Piper did leading into the event and the actual match itself has been scrubbed off of Wrestlemania 6 on the Peacock channel so I think the event is now 12 minutes shorter than the original so that's the first one that one is I can borderline I don't understand why they couldn't just put a disclaimer now there is another one that they said they've purged so far that I don't really have that much of a problem with but I still are really deep down in my heart don't like censorship or being canceled things being canceled out it was from the 2005 Survivor Series where Vince McMahon was in the back I think he was talking to John Cena and he talked and mentioned um, the n-word when referring to the black wrestler Booker T it was more in jest I've seen it. I've seen it unedited. I don't think he meant anything malicious. It was kind of like playing into, you know, the preppy white guy trying to be cool and do things in the black culture. So both of those um, have been removed so far. My problem is what else are they going to damn remove? Because it's exactly like I said, when is enough enough? To me, they could have taken both of these events. They could have put a disclaimer in the front of them and said that at the time the event took place, these things were were said and done they don't match the uh, culture and or you know the beliefs that they want to portray on the peacock network and so they don't represent the you know them culturally or that they do not um you know agree with the content but they didn't want to edit it um so now i'm just scared what other things are they going to deem that can't be shown on the peacock network and when is at this point anybody could do any of that i've already heard there's a children book series because of the way it portrays asian americans they're gonna the author said they're gonna scrub that book and act like it doesn't exist what's next are we never gonna be able to watch blazing saddles again and laugh at how he mel brooks makes fun of everybody from whites to blacks to asians to every race creed and color he makes fun of especially jewish people which he's one of I just don't know when it's going to end. I like to be for everybody to consider that I'm an intelligent, average American who's smart enough to know 
that these things aren't right, but they don't need to be edited because I can teach myself and my family how to treat people better and how not to repeat these things. But that we need to have that stuff out there so we can learn as a as as a people and learn as a culture of what's right and wrong and put the disclaimers on there so everybody knows that it's not right. I just don't like the censorship because I think one day somebody is going to deem something worthy of being censored once they sell it to the wrong group and something beloved to me or to somebody that I know is going to get scrubbed from society. And that's another reason that I collect physical media because I've owned these events on DVD and now I know that I'll always be able to have them uncensored. And like I said, I don't, don't take me wrong, I'm not advocating for people to use this language now. What I'm advocating for is to leave it intact, put messages either on the screen or before it as a disclaimer and teach people what we did wrong in the past and how it's not wrong now. Wiping it from existence does not make it better. People are then going to take this shit. They're going to go out there and seek it. As soon as now this is a news story, they're going to go try to find those. They're going to like sensationalize, is that the right word? These videos just because they want to go out there and search and see what all the hub hubbub's about. Oh, hell yeah! So that's my rant about this. Sorry about getting uh you know i'm offended by them wanting to erase the stuff probably more than the people are going to get offended if the stuff was still left on there so i just i'm afraid they're going to take it one step too far one day and they're going to edit out all the cool content that i love from people back in the day on wrestling like stone cold steve austin like the rock mankind when they went back and forth with each other with some of the biggest insults in the history i know there's one other thing they're going to edit off of the network for sure when the dx dressed up like the nation and made fun of them i know that there's no way that that's going to end up staying on the peacock network mark my words that'll be the next thing you hear that comes out that that's going to be scrubbed off the network and i'm just i'm afraid how far this is going to go so i apologize for the rant just wanted you get my opinion out there and um hopefully you enjoyed this video give it the thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you uh, like the content on my channel um, i'm an advocate for um, I don't want censorship in America and I want to be able to keep things intact. So if you are that way too, like I said, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. So I really appreciate your support. And this is Jeff Man 316, your pop culture reporter saying that's the bottom line because Jeff Man 316 said so. Oh, hell yeah.